For an example of determining the radius and interval of convergence for a power series, consider the following series. The sum from n equals 0 to infinity of n factorial divided by x to the n. Our two options for determining this will be to use either the ratio test or the root test. Because I see a factorial, we're going to stick with the ratio test. So ratio test says to set up the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value of the n plus 1th term divided by the nth term. Now in this case, that would be the limit as n goes to infinity of replacing the n's with an n plus 1. This will be n plus 1 factorial times x raised to the n plus 1 power all over the original, <coughs> oh, excuse me, the original expression. Oh. Oh. Note to self, don't eat tortilla chips right before you record a video. Woo! <clears throat> All right, grouping things together that appear as though they belong together. We can expand the n plus 1 factorial by one term to wind up with n plus 1 times n factorial divided by n factorial. That's being multiplied by x to the n plus 1 power over x to the n power. Both of these will reduce quite nicely, and this will be the limit as n approaches infinity of n plus 1 times x. <clears throat> now, when we take the limit as n approaches infinity, what's going to happen is that this term will go to infinity, which means that if x is anything but exactly equal to 0, then this thing is going to diverge toward infinity. Now you'll notice also that x equals 0 was the center of this power series. So of the three possibilities, what this lets us know is that the series converges for only x equals 0. Therefore the radius of convergence is going to be equal to zero, and the interval is not actually an interval, it's only at one single point.